Alright, what's up, Amayan? So, today's video is about Epic Games Store. I know no one use it, but still, some people use it. So, I have this new laptop where I am trying to install the Epic Games Launcher or Epic Games Store, but whenever I install it, it gives me an error. It says that uh, it installs for a bit, but still, it will give me an error. Just write about when it's about to finish the installation and 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 just wait for it and here you can see it says that epic games launcher setup wizard ended prematurely and cannot install it whenever i want to install it so the easy fix that i have found is just go to your microsoft store if you have one if you do not have one Please make an account on it and use it. Search for Epic Games Store like this and wait for it to load up and now you can hit the install button. I don't know why I am unable to install Epic Games Launcher on or Epic Games Store on my desktop using the installer but when some things don't work you just have to use the alternative ways. Now all we have to do is wait for the download to complete and then we will see if the Epic Games Store is installed or not. So why don't we wait, why should we wait, we should just speed up the process in the video just like this. Okay so after the download is completed it will start installing and it might ask you permissions to install so you have to go to another window and click on yes and wait for further instructions uh, it actually asked me twice to install apex game store first was the service or an update something like that so it's gonna ask me right now again and and the sc screen will go blank just right here i'm gonna click on yes so these two permissions it asked and we have to click yes on both times now all we have to do is be patient and wait for the installation to complete so we can see if the installation is completed or the error still persists okay now it says install and it is now installed yep that was something that we have to take in account Okay, after the installation is complete, you have to close the Microsoft Store and now you can open the Epic Game Launcher and first of all, this will start updating the store and you will be good to do. You will log in and you will be good to go. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching.